right, hello everybody. Hello. Uh, I, I want to welcome uh, congressional leaders uh, to one of our periodic meetings. Uh, we're obviously at the beginning of a, a lengthy work period, uh, coming off uh, a, a very uh, tough work period. One of the things that we're going to be talking about is the economy. Uh, I'm going to be presenting to them uh, the latest report from uh, the Council of Economic Advisors on the impact of uh, uh, the Recovery Act. Uh, what we're seeing, I think, is uh, some significant improvement in the economy and stabilization. Uh, but obviously, everybody here, Republican and Democrat, recognizes we've still got force to do. Uh, that there are too many people who are still unemployed. Uh, the housing market is still very soft. Too many small businesses who aren't getting credit. Uh, and so we're going to spend some time exploring how can we uh, build on the progress that has been made uh, to make sure that uh, ordinary Americans uh, are seeing improvements in their own lives. Uh, I'm also going to be interested in talking to them about uh, our uh, ability to move quickly on a financial regulatory reform package. I think all of us recognize that we cannot have a circumstance in which a meltdown in the financial sector once again puts the entire economy in peril. And that if there's one lesson that we've learned, uh, it's that uh, a unfettered market uh, where people are taking huge risks and expecting taxpayers to bail them out when things go sour uh, is simply not acceptable. Uh, as a consequence, I'm actually confident that we can work out a uh, effective bipartisan package that assures that we never have too big to fail again, that consumers are adequately protected when it comes to uh, financial instruments, uh, whether it's mortgages or credit cards or debit cards, that we have a strong mechanism to regulate derivatives, uh, something that we have not had, uh, a, a derivatives market that is in the shadow economy but is enormously powerful, uh, enormously risky. We want to get that into daylight uh, so that regulators and ordinary Americans know what's going on uh, when it comes to this huge segment of the financial system. Uh, and I am confident that if we work together diligently over the next several weeks, uh, that we can come up with a package that serves the American people well uh, and does not put Americans ever again in a position where uh, they're having to uh, choose between uh, a terrible uh, economic situation uh, or uh, rewarding people for failed policies and, and bad risk taking. Uh, and so that's going to be a, a top priority of this meeting. Uh, finally, uh, we've got uh, a range of issues from uh, a Supreme Court vacancy, uh, a start treaty that I believe needs to be uh, ratified, uh, a host of other issues related to uh, appointments that uh, we're going to talk about, and uh, I'm going to be also obviously listening to congressional leaders about their priorities uh, over the next several months. Uh, so I very much appreciate them taking the time to come, uh, and uh, I'm hopeful that uh, this will not only be a productive meeting, but we will see a productive session uh, over the next several weeks. All right? Thank you. Thank you.